How's it going, you guys? It is Spidey Dicko 64 back here at Daytona, back here again. And today, I am going to be doing another Cars 3 diecast review. And obviously, today I'm doing a Cars 3 diecast review on Tommy High Banks, aka Fox Wheel Full Wheel Drive number 54. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, yeah, I'm kind of sounding a bit better, you know? I mean, like, I think I may sound a bit more better than in my Thud Throttle Man review, since I did kind of stutter a lot in that video, and I'm sorry for that. I mean, like, if you guys didn't know what I was doing, I was like, like, I was, like, doing this uh, right here and, and like that, you know? I kept repeating myself over and over again. I was nervous or something. Uh, I was kind of nervous when um that happened actually. Something just came up to me and I came out came out <coughs> nervous. But yeah, I am still coughing though, which kind of sucks. No, but anyways, I just wanted to get into the review of Tommy Hyman of this Piston Cup racer, you know. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin this review. Alright, so this is So Tommy Highbanks is the folk is the full wheel drive um racer which was a company in Cars One, which was originally and the original one to sponsor that company was this guy named Johnny Blammer. And it looks like that he retired throughout his years, probably somewhere in two thousand nine, and then they may wait for the newer stock cars which were better and probably safer I guess you could say so yeah there's so yeah there was so yeah like um this is like an old stock car and this is a newer stock car so so yeah and by the way I'm just really loving the new stock car design just because it looks so much like an actual NASCAR car you know these ones they look on. They look good, you know. They look pretty good, but, but, I don't know. I'm getting used to these a lot. I think these these ones look a lot more better. And obviously, he will appear in Cars Three. Now there was one scene where I saw of him, and that was, all right. So um, so like okay. So they released this clip where McQueen, Jackson Storm, and are racing at the. Motor Speedway of the South, and the and the race starts, and there's this shot of all the racers, you know, like, they're all, like, going, you know, down the front stretch, and you could see full-wheel drive, he's one of the racers, you know, you can see, like, you only showed the back of him, along with the RPM racer, which there was a picture released for the new RPM racer, which looks absolutely amazing, can I just say that right now, but yeah, anyways, um, but yeah, there will also be a next generation four wheel drive racer, just to point that out there, you know. So he will be replaced in the movie. There will be a diecast release of that character. I don't know the character's name, but um there is one. Just to point that out there. So yeah. This car this card does reuse the brick yardly mold which is this long car you know with the with that gr with the grill and the happy face you know all like this <coughs> oh. sorry about that uh there's all oh, you better say bless one of you better say bless you in the comments below but yeah anyways we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing that is that um just comparing you know see the what's the big difference between these guy between these guys so yeah I'll pick that all right so one thing I do like and that is that these guys are separate characters on like Ponchi Wipeout and Marie Clutchburn how their characters in Cars 1 and they will not look the same like today you know I don't know how they do car physics but yeah you could see now this this one is you guys, if you guys can see, if I can, this one is a lot more, is uh, lengthier, 
And this one's a lot more shorter. So, yeah, that's um, one difference. <coughs> the full, the four-wheel drive logo is is a bit more uh I I, I it's a bit more like 2016 looking, you know, it looks like better, I guess, you know. And the full wheel drive um, logo is actually horizontally, like position, like it's put sideways, you know, full wheel drive right there. It's just all white, you know. It's just all white, you know. White, you know. The mouth plate, he has no grill. He does have had light decals with the number 54 and a. Uh, Okay, face expression, I don't know. But this one looks a bit more happier. And the mouth is green. This one is blue. He does have a grill. Real headlights. Number 54 and a... And a proper looking mouth. On the side, you do... There is one recurring thing, and that is that... You do get... Well... Okay, so... You do get the blue going... From here to around there. Same thing with here. You know, except it stops right here. He does have a lot of he does have a lot of piston cup sponsors here. You know? He has a different kind of order of sponsors, you know. He does have light ear tires. This one is gray, this one is black. Number fifty four up there, fifty four up down there. Here it doesn't have that many like woods and forests, but this one actually does. So yeah, and he does have the arrow to indicate where to lift the car up. So that's pretty good. This are the full wheel drive um, um logo on the side, you know, going around. This out the gas cap as always, and then on the top, this part is actually gray with the treads you know this one the treads are going over the 54 and then the back the spoiler and the new one is green the spoiler on this one is white the the full wheel drive logo is bigger and the full wheel drive is small so yeah and the back looks very different too the back on this one is yellow Four wheel drive right there. The camera, camera, the headlights, and set and dirt decals right there. Number fifty four. I don't see the slogan. Just like off road. Oh wait, there it is, right there. So yeah. So yeah, you have really no idea how long it. I really wanted to review this guy. I mean, like ever since I saw him, I just really want to make a video on him. And hey, now I can. So, night. Night or later. Sorry, <laughs> saying night right there. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I've always kind of wanted to make a video on this guy, and um, and I'm finally now making one. And um, yeah, hopefully. And if I were to say which one of these is my favorite, I would say this one. It's because, um, I mean, like, I mean, like, hey, if I were, if I were to get this guy a long time ago, which I actually, this is one of the newest Piston Cup racers that I actually gotten, so, um, if I were to get this guy much later, I would probably love him, since he was one of those cars in the movie that only appeared shortly, but yeah, I'm digging this guy a lot more, so, yeah, tell me what you guys Think of them in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.